Disney theme parks are well known for their immersive attractions that incorporate a wide range of practical and digital effects, from the classic stretching room of the Haunted Mansion to state-of-the-art animatronics and projection mapping. The topic of today's video is not one of the major e-ticket rides, but it is a popular attraction that combines many of these effects together to pull off a cool one-of-a-kind illusion. Enchanted Tales with Belle is an interactive walkthrough experience in the Magic Kingdom, where guests have the opportunity to meet Princess Belle and other characters from Beauty and the Beast. The story begins inside a small workshop which belongs to the character Maurice, and guests are told that they will travel to Beast's castle by passing through an enchanted mirror hanging on the wall. Upon saying the magic words, the lights in the workshop go out, and the mirror comes to life showing images of a forest and Beast's castle as the frame is illuminated with shimmering lights. The frame then expands both horizontally and vertically as the mirror transforms into a wooden door, and it opens to reveal a passageway leading into the next part of the attraction. This is a really effective illusion that might appear relatively simple at first, but there's actually quite a bit going on to make it all work seamlessly. To start, it helps to identify the parts of the system that are stationary and the parts that move. The upper portion of the wall forms an upside-down U-shape around the top of the mirror, and this is fixed within the dark wooden beams that enclose the show area. The top middle part of the frame is secured to the wall, and pretty much everything else can move in some way. The bottom section of the wall, the frame, the glass, and even the wooden trim pieces all need to be moved out of the way to create a portal when the mirror is in the open state. These components are arranged in several layers, effectively hiding what is actually going on underneath. The frame is the first layer, which is positioned on top of the fixed part of the wall, while the bottom part of the wall and the glass are both positioned behind. The four sides of the frame are made up of telescoping segments that slide into one another, allowing it to expand in two directions simultaneously. When the mirror is in the closed state, there is a gap between the inside of the frame and the edge of the wall, but the gap remains hidden because it is thinner than the width of the frame. As the top and bottom extend horizontally, the sides of the frame are pushed over the wall to close the gap, giving the illusion that the opening is becoming wider. The exact width that was chosen for the frame is quite important here, as it determines how far the mirror is able to expand. The motion itself is achieved with a rack and pinion system that is hidden underneath the frame, and the telescoping segments are guided with linear bearings. The pinions are circular gears that engage with toothed rails referred to as racks, and they drive the racks forwards or backwards as they spin. There are racks and pinions hidden behind the wall trim on either side of the mirror as well, and the trim pieces are made up of telescoping segments just like the frame, so that they can contract as the frame expands. To help disguise all the moving components, the effect takes place in a darkened room, and projection mapping is used to create shimmering lights that hide the expanding joints of the frame. The audio track that accompanies the show also plays an important role here, because it covers up any mechanical noises made by the system. Now, in order for the mirror to fully transform into a functional doorway, the bottom of the frame and the lower part of the wall both have to completely disappear beneath the floor. The lower wall section is a rigid U-shaped panel, and when the mirror is in the closed state, the vertical sides of the U are hidden behind the fixed wall above. As the frame expands, the wall panel moves downwards to reveal the two side pieces, which become the new bottom part of the wall when the mirror is in the open state. The panel is lowered into a maintenance pit underneath the room by a linear actuator, and this is where mechanics are able to access most of the electrical and mechanical components when performing maintenance or troubleshooting the attraction. The opening in the floor is the reason why there are two strategically placed props on either side of the mirror, as these help to hide the gap from view when the wall is lowered. Once the frame is fully open, it is revealed that the glass part of the mirror actually extends all the way down to the floor behind the wall. There are two glass panels installed side by side, and they slide horizontally along a track so that they can function like a set of pocket doors. The seam where they meet is initially hidden out of view behind the frame, but the panels are moved just before the portal opens so that they spread apart from the center. The glass itself is half-silvered to create a one-way mirror, and the animation is projected onto the back from the opposite side of the wall. The glass remains reflective from the viewpoint of the guests while the projection is running, but the room is darkened so that the animation appears much brighter than the reflection. As you can probably see in this low-light video, 
The reflection of the room is just barely visible through the projection, and you really have to look closely to see it in person. At the end of the animation, the image of the castle transforms into a set of wooden doors, and this is when the glass panels are moved into position before opening. The panels simply slide apart from the center, but the projected image shows the doors opening inward to give the illusion that they are real doors on hinges. Once the portal is open, a cover plate is slid into place to cover the opening in the floor where the frame was lowered, and guests are then invited to pass through the mirror into Beast Castle. After the guests have moved through the passageway and onto the next part of the attraction, the mirror is then returned to the closed state for the next group. The glass panels are closed, the lower wall is raised, and the frame is retracted, so that it once again looks like a regular mirror hanging on the wall. This transforming mirror is a fantastic example of how practical and digital effects can be used together effectively, and I think it's great to see Disney continuing down this path with many of their new attractions. The overall illusion is achieved purely with physical mechanisms, just like many of the classic illusions from Disney's past, but modern projection technology is used to enhance the immersive experience by really bringing the mirror to life. Now before I wrap up this video, I'd first like to take a minute to talk about today's sponsor, NordVPN. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, and it is a service that encrypts your internet traffic in order to protect your online identity. When you connect to the internet with a VPN, your connection is routed through a private server, which prevents your ISP and other third parties from tracking your online activities. This is especially important when visiting unsecured web pages or connecting to public Wi-Fi networks, as it prevents potential hackers from being able to access your passwords and other sensitive details. I personally like to use the NordVPN mobile app on my phone whenever I am traveling, and the simple interface makes it easy to get connected in just a few seconds. There are thousands of servers available in over 60 countries with no limit on bandwidth, and NordVPN implements a strict no data logging policy. I highly recommend that you give them a try, and if you do it right now by going to nordvpn.com slash artofengineering, using the link in the description, then you can get 70% off a 3-year plan with a risk-free 30-day trial. That works out to just $3.49 per month, and for a limited time, you can also use promo code Art of Engineering to get an additional month for free. I use NordVPN to keep myself protected online, and they really helped me out by sponsoring this video, so please check them out by going to nordvpn.com slash artofengineering and consider signing up for a 3-year plan. It helps to support me and this channel, but more importantly, it helps to keep you and your data safe online. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from Art of Engineering, and remember to hit the bell to get notified every time a new one comes out. If you are interested in supporting the channel and future projects, then you can also check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.